Here we are at Olarte Transport once again. This is our fourth time down here. We're with Gleaning's volunteers. There's Mark and our staff. And we're filling boxes for Venezuela. These are 200 pound boxes of oatmeal and soup mix. So we got everyone filling boxes. We got Pat, there it is, look at that. Pat, Pat where are you from? Wenatchee, Washington. All the way down, Mission Builders Mission Inter Builder International. That's right. With my official shirt. That's great. And greetings for the hungry. That's great. So we these boxes get filled and then they get brought over here. Oh, Shmara's repairing. She's repairing uh, broken bags. So the full boxes get brought over here into the warehouse. And this is where Bryn and Cheryl and Colleen are weighing the boxes. They want to get up to 200 pounds. So they're filling the boxes, weighing them, and then we take them out to get wrapped up. And uh, so these, we're hoping to get above 60 boxes today to go to Venezuela, to our brothers and sisters there. I just want to thank everyone so much for your support uh, of gleanings, of our family. Um, you're just saving lives with us. Um, I want to thank everyone who is donating product and this oatmeal and all the ingredients for the soup mix, the peas, lentils, rice, potato, the dehydrated veggies, uh, the pasta, um, all, of this, all of these products are going to save lives in Venezuela. And these, we've really made a personal connection there with our friend Christian Pinero. I don't know where he is, he's somewhere around here. But I just wanna thank you so much. It's been almost four years that our family has been at Gleanings and uh, it's just been such a pr uh, privilege to serve, um, you know, sometimes we'll send out two or three truckloads at a time. And in this case, this is really such a, an amazing thing. Here's all the boxes behind me we're getting ready to send. We got them all packed up out here. Again, we're hoping for more than 60 boxes. This will be our biggest shipment. Here's my buddy, Christian Pinero. Hello, if buddy. you don't know anything about uh, Feed the 5,000, make sure you look it up online, Feed the 5,000. Uh, this is, that's right. And uh, Feed the 5,000 dot miracle. And, uh, and so he's sending uh, these boxes to his friends and family in Venezuela, in the city of Caracas Valencia. and Valencia, Valencia, and from there all Valencia, over. Bolivar. That's right. So yeah, check out his website, look up uh, Feed the 5000 Venezuela, and you'll find it right away. But yeah, again, we've been here about four years at Gleanings, and it's just been such a privilege uh, to do this. We, I, I was saying that we, sometimes we send two or three truckloads at a time. And in this case, it's a perfect example of, our, uh, our, of the heart of Gleanings, is that the staff and the volunteers are down here. We, we drove down for the day here to downtown Los Angeles to Alarte Transport, and we're packing boxes and sending it out. And I just wanna thank you, because you're part of that too. We're all in this together, uh, just serving the Lord. So thank you again, just wanna send you this cool video, uh, just about a cool day where we're down here, partnering up with Christian to feed thousands of people in Venezuela. This is my friend Bryn. Hello. She was on summer staff last two years. She's amazing. Bryn, tell us something. What do you, yeah? Well, we're at Olarte's right now, and it's a packing house, and we are shipping boxes to Venezuela with our friend Christian. Yeah, so Bryn uh, served this summer on our special 2020 summer staff team, and then she stayed. She, she came back for fall and is now serving and uh, looking forward to summer 2021. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's we're here good. we're here down in LA serving together.
Mr. Pinero here to share with us about the beginning, the first time he came here and maybe where we're at now. So nice and loud so we are over the tape. Okay, um, I'm gonna just uh, say thank you to all of you because uh, uh, it's amazing everything that we have been able to accomplish today. When I get back and see the first time when I start, it was only two boxes like I've been telling you uh, before. And uh, it's something that uh, in the last few uh, shipments has been a constant. That sometimes uh, the friends that receive the boxes, they just share with me uh, a few things that uh, sometimes looks like uh, it's uh, a little bit uh, with no, a lot of importance. But a lot of people are saying, wow, this is a blessing. Uh, the Lord never forget me. Or I didn't have any food and uh, you come today with something for me. It has been often and often the people uh, just expressing their gratitude to God, like uh, probably in ancient time Israel did with the, with the manna from heaven. People see this thing like they don't know where this coming from, what bounty hands, they give it to them. They just give thanks to the Lord because uh, they got the food at the right moment, like uh, when they are desperate looking for something to eat. Uh, there is something that I wanna share with you uh, when I start this. The very first shipment, um, I sent this because I have family members in a really, really top position. They were looking for food in trash cans. So when I send this thing, uh, my, my sister didn't know anything. She received the boxes and I say, what you want me to do with this? And I say, just start sharing. We did a list of all the costs that we can help. And uh, one of the family members is, uh, is my aunt. Uh, her name is Esperanza. Was the last one because uh, she lived in a very remote place. And uh, it's, the, it's access uh, to that is very difficult, so my sister decided to put it for the last moment. And uh, I have not seen my aunt probably in 30 years. She has some problem uh, of a uh, mild Alzheimer, uh, like a dementia. So when my sister and my dad arrived there uh, with a small uh, package with uh, rice and beans and everything, the first thing that my aunt said was, this thing was sent to me by my nephew, Christian. And uh, my sister just, she didn't say anything. Um, I, I didn't see my aunt in more than 30 years. And at uh, the first very few words that this woman with Alzheimer's say was, this was sent to me by my nephew, Christian. <laughs> and uh, my sister started crying, and my dad, and uh, I told them not to say that I, I was a person because it's a lot of person sending this. So I feel bad just putting my name. So I told my sister, no, just tell them that this was sent by Jesus Christ through his brothers and sisters. My, my aunt started walking around the, the little box with food and she say, like it was a Sunday, well, the Lord always do his job on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the thing that I want to share with you is every time when you see this picture and you say any person sharing one meal, you are there with them sharing this soup or this bowl of oats or this canned food. You are with them in the middle of their afflictions. Because uh, as I, I was telling my brother Andy, we are fulfilling that... Uh, scripture that I say that uh, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was afflicted and you visited me. And uh, every time when you do this, you are doing to him. 